let's dress up a Barbie Cutie reveal in an old fashioned Easter's fashions. Coming up after this. So this video is a result of many videos that I think you should check out. So I just did a video of these new budget Barbies that I found in this, these wonderful tropical dresses. So I just did that. I just did some cutie reveal reviews and recently I have removed the Velcro from all of them just so that these blazers fit so much better. Oh, maybe I should have turned this inside out for this look. I also used these dolls in doing some of these fashion packs. I put up three of these in one day. Not a lot of people have checked them out. You should check out these little packs. They have three videos for three others of these, but I still want to open up these ones and I'm going to do those videos too. I think that like both of these have so many purple elements in them and translucent elements so that I think it would look great on this doll. I want to put her in a made to move body. Well, I like the WWE bodies. There was a second there. I was really enjoying the made to move bodies like everybody told me to. But once I start playing with the dolls and messing around with them, I really like my Barbie color reveals on the WWE bodies best. I think that they fill out the clothes better. They have really big feet. I think their forearms are a little too big for them, but I just, I really also like the vintage look of them. Hair drives me crazy, even though this hair is so fresh and new that the locks are in place. It seems to have tamed down from being inside the head. You know how it had crimped up and it was just standing out. It feels soft and it's a great color. I love their eyes. Remind me of the Wild Hearts crew eyes. Just there's all these special little things in them, stars and flecks and she has great coloring, beautiful face. Look, you can see her underwear under her bra. It's her bra strap that that happens, right? So I'm deciding whether I want to keep them on these bodies. And the biggest reason why I am not taking them off these bodies, this girl, I don't have a WWE match for her. This is the darkest WWE. I've tried doing this before for a darkening complexion. So maybe I want to put them on made to move bodies. Maybe I just want to enjoy them for what they are. That's kind of what this video is. It's an experiment to see if they can pull off fashions because they are articulated. They have flat feet. This doll has flat feet. This doll comes with a lot of stuff. I find the clothes very um, dated. I don't very 90s, but also this stuff is really back in the fashion. You should probably sell this. I'd probably get $50 for it, but it's the only one from this collection of four deluxe fashionistas that I did not open. I guess this is also a shout out to those videos. I'm gonna open it. Probably gonna be very critical because I do find the stuff in here kind of taggy. But there's also some real good things in here. So anytime there's a translucent thing. So visors, are kind of silly anyway, but I do love clear translucent toys and accessories. So I should probably just think that that's pretty awesome. Anyway, it does look pretty good on her. She's got her original boots on. I've got some WWE sneakers on her. I also wanted to talk about how I really love this skirt. This is a Creatable World top and I love the Creatable World tops. They came with the little individual dolls and then the character sets and everything. And I just, I have them all together and I love them. And I think they look so good on Barbie. They're basics. And I think that this skirt is a million dollars. There are, I've seen many, many complaints about people not liking it because of the texture, but I mean, it's a holograph and I think she looks fantastic in this. That's kind of why I want to open up some of these accessory packs and accessorize her, even though I like minimal accessories, I think. Oh, she's got one on. I put on a VAC metal bracelet that looks so good with this. She's wearing purple and gold and her vintage head. So good. That's the kind of thing I always like to choose the doll with the hair to match the outfit. This girl, I find her face really cartoony. She kind of looks like Tori Spelling. She's got these eyes that are kind of bugging out. 
but she's beautiful and she's, you know, an individual. This jacket is one of the things from this set that I am excited about. It was glued on something I don't think I've ever seen before. Yeah, her hair is even glued to the package. I have never, maybe it's because it's old or something. I think it was intentional. There's cardboard in her hair because it was glued. Hair soft, fashionistas, usually soft the earrings come out. Yeah, no, the earrings don't come out. This jacket, there's one that came in a fashion pack that I love and use all the time. So I am happy to have another one, even though the embellishments I think are a bit much. The one I have is pink that I use quite often and I really like it. I should probably grab it. At the end of this video, maybe I'll grab it and show you. And then this, it's sporty. It's super 90s, early 2000s. I would describe it as hoochie. I would, but it's also got some kind, it's the straps that make it sporty. It also has kind of a Greek goddess feel to it too. So maybe, and it is black and white straps on it. I don't know. Now that I have it out of the package and on its own, I see potential for that maybe. She comes with these high top or platform converse kind of thing. She's got on the jacket, the hoop earrings, the Latina face, well, skin tone anyway. She's unique. I like that she is like kind of Latina, kind of Asian. She could be from Central America. She could be European either, Middle Eastern, so many things. I love when it's ambiguous. Jacket is nice. Hair is soft. It's not a hairstyle that I like or anything, but she does look like a Jennifer Lopez music video. The dress that she comes with is kind of nice, but it's also made of that ribbed cotton that was so big in the 90s, and it's back. And it's one of the fashion things that have happened throughout history that I really can't get behind. I mean, the dress looks pretty nice, and it is Barbie land, so the ribs in it look a little, they look thicker. So it kind of looks like a corduroy because of the scale. So I kind of like it. I like that the edges are hemmed. I like that it's a solid colored dress and that it's like a versatile, neutral kind of color that can definitely be used. But I, I don't know, I worry about the style. I can definitely dress it up, but a ribbed cotton is just not something that I ever thought. I mean, there's exceptions to this, of course. You can dress these things up and make them look good. It's just one of my least favorite fashion things to happen ever but it's nice and i love cotton so there's definitely positives to it could put this on you could make it look more 70s maybe by putting it on the right doll i like it by itself this jacket look at this oh it has a hood i didn't know that that just made this a little more cooler let's put it on this doll she's already got the shiny and the metallic going on we're mixing silver and gold here which i think it's okay to mix metals there's also a bmr jacket that's kind of similar to this too but it does remind me of my pink one this could be a jacket for my what do i call her my gem and the holograms synergy doll i think that's the last time that i used that pink one i like it on her i have to say i like that it's shimmering in places in the hood it's got the place to put your hair out the back of the hood and this time it's for hair it's not just for putting on because there's no velcro strip down the back or anything the uh silver doesn't bother me as much as i thought it would i would like it more without the silver it would just be more versatile but that's a cute jacket okay that's uh take her and try on. I thought that this doll was a tall. That's also something that I wanted to see because she was looking kind of short, but I guess her shoes are kind of platformy. But yeah, these look really tiny to me. They kind of look like skippers, but when I'm putting them next to the dolls, nope, they're, they're the same height. They both have platformy shoes on. So let's see if she can wear this underwear and wear this dress. This dress kind of clashes with the purple. There's a lot of clashing going on in this set, but they must think that it works together because they put that purple coat in here. I think she probably has the least obvious bra straps from the other two at least that I've opened because her skin is pale and the purple is pale on it. But I'd have to say, no, you can't 
really get away with this bra and this dress. You want to use a doll that doesn't have that. I guess it's nice. I gotta definitely see it on another doll. She's looking Grecian, so it's not too bad. I do have some of these that have this coloring in their hair. I think I might really like that. So maybe this does have potential, this dress. What else do I have to try on here? Can I put these sneakers on? Also, people have wondered about the size of the feet, but I think they are of the same size as a standard Barbie's feet. Yeah, they're ex they're exactly the same. So you should be getting your same petite and original shoes on the Cutie Reveal dolls. So they can wear them. And we have this other dress, we can mix that up and see because it has the high back and it covers up all of the upper part of the body. Is there a huge difference to the body shape? Not really, but she will be a little thicker because of the molded on stuff and she'll probably fill out clothes a bit more than your standard Barbie. I mean, I said a lot of bad things about this dress, but it just has to be styled properly. I think it can be used properly with the right colored doll hair. Both of these, I want to put them on a doll with specific colored hair and definitely on made to move WWE bodies that just fill them out a little bit. You're not going to get this stuff on a curvy doll. I can tell you right now, it's made to fit on the original body. So those are going to be your best bet. But the WWE bodies are just a little bit more curvy. So they fill out Barbie's clothes a little bit more and everything looks better on them. But I don't mind that dress. I, I don't, I'm surprised I don't mind this dress. You're definitely following me on Instagram because we're going to be seeing probably a lot of those things. And this jacket's definitely going to make many appearances there as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to bring out some of those things that I promised. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Here's that jacket. You, maybe you want to check out my Jim and the Holograms Barbie Customs. That's another video, too. But it, it was very different, actually. I was thinking that they were the same. This is more of a raincoat, so I like the versatility of that. It might actually fit on a Ken, too. So, yeah, these are two of my favorite coats. You wouldn't think that they would be, but a good nylon jacket is kind of a good basic. And, yeah, I knew that one of these dolls had the perfect color hair. There's still so much that... Oh, there's a purse. There's a neglected purse in there. The purse is actually really nice. It's got like a Chanel quilting, and then it's got some studs on there, so it's a little edgy. That is a pretty... I don't have this purse either. It's nice. It's the right kind of thickness. Very stylish. I mean, the studs make it a little more... Uh, specifically dated, but that's, that's nice. It is nice. Did I take enough pictures? Did I, did I do enough videos with these? I don't know. I love this look on her, the sporty I put on, a little accessory. She's got her WWE shoes on. These are perfect shoes, perfect color hair. We gotta see what she looks on. She's got her Creative World tank top on. If you want to keep up with this stuff, definitely follow me on Instagram. I don't know, maybe some of you are mad that I love these skirts, that I love that I love the anything that's color reveal, cutie reveal, all of the extras and the heads. I think that makes a lot of people mad too, but the hair is a lot for me to deal with and I love vintage stuff and they just really remind me of vintage dolls. Put this on her. And it's probably the right color for that ethereal looking mermaid as well. Yeah, yeah, she, she does look gorgeous in this and it does, even with her muscles, makes her look like more of a 
Grecian goddess. So yeah, this is it's sporty and everything, but it is a favorite. I don't even want to put the sneakers on. I want to put on some fancy shoes. I do have some standing by, but I'm going to put on the sneakers just because they're here. Oh, no, no, no. That ruins it. Can't, can't even do it. We did really, really good today. Okay. Follow me on Instagram, or maybe there'll be an upcoming video because I know that this dress is going to look great on one of those dolls, too. Love you guys.